Hi viewers, welcome back to my channel Princess Kitchen. So friends, here I am back with a new recipe that is with Oreo biscuit and it is very tasty and yummy to eat. Uh, it is Oreo switch roll. So without any skip, uh, let us know how to make this recipe. So let's get started. So here I took two packet Oreo biscuit. So let us take out the biscuit from the packet one by one. In one packet, uh, I got five biscuits. So here I will open the another packet also, and total we will get uh, ten biscuits. So here I took. See, you can see here. So time to take out the cream from the Oreo biscuit. You can see here the. Uh, cream color so take out that in a bowl in the same process I will take out the cream one by one with the knife After taking out the cream, now we will grind this biscuit in a fine powder uh, with the help of grinder and this will make a creamy texture of it with milk. So here is the fine powder of the biscuits, you can see here. So I will add the milk to make a perfect dough. Add little amount of milk so that you can make a tight perfect dough. So mix it properly and add as much as you need the milk. you can see here I made it perfectly just like this you have to make it not thick it must be tight enough now let us make the creamy texture here I add the biscuit cream and a tablespoon of milk so blend it properly with a spoon or with anything you want so I made it here a creamy texture so after that here is some cashew nuts and some raisins which I have chopped it properly place a plastic and set the dough above the plastic and now again I will add another plastic also above the dough now time to roll up the dough slowly flatten the area from each corner just dabbing it in this way Turn it just like a chapati you make. Now we have to cut the 
extra area and make a rectangular shape. You cut with the knife. You, the knife should be sharp enough. So here I am cutting it from two sides. So our rectangular shape is ready. You can see here. What you do is add some uh, creamy texture that we have made before. So spread all along the uh, area. Our creamy textures has been set up so uh, time to add some dry fruits that is cashew nuts and resin you can add almonds or any type of dry fruits if you want to so after adding our resins I'm adding here cashew nuts Let's just roll it uh, properly. You have to just roll it in this way, just I'm showing you. Our roll is now ready so time to keep it in the refrigerator for 10 to 15 minutes so let's keep it in, in the refrigerator now when you keep it in the refrigerator it becomes little hard from the cover so you can see here I took out from the refrigerator now cut it with a sharp knife so in this shape you can cut it so here you can see here our yummy switch roll is ready you can see the dry fruits along with the resins uh, and cashew nuts inside the switch roll so it is very yummy and tasty hope you enjoyed my video don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will be back with a new recipe again so for now goodbye